So you have yourself a Leader 120 or a quadcopter with an older F3 flight controller and you see Betaflight 3.4 with all its fancy new features and you want a part of that. Well fortunately there is a 3.4 performance edition out that takes away some features such as PWM and inputs your new features from Betaflight 3.4. We're about to do it. Hey everybody, this is Sully with Five Freaking Onion Rings coming back at you. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Please hit that like and subscribe button down below if you have not already. I appreciate it as always. Today we're going to start out by doing the Leader 120 F3 board using Betaflight 3.4 Performance Edition, which will add in the iTerm filtering, iTerm Relax, Smart Feed Forward, and the filtering options that were not available in the F3 line. As long as your board has more than 64 kilobytes of memory, they have taken out Acro Trainer and PWM and a couple of other features in order to fit in the good features. We're going to go to GitHub, Joe Euclid, Betaflight. I'm putting the link down below. Grab your board's hex file, very important. And we're going to go to Betaflight. Configurator, and we're going to go ahead and plug in our Leader 120. Make sure you have a good USB cable. And we're connected. We're going to go down to CLI, do a BL, and I've already done this, so I'm only going to show you what to type. So BL, hit enter. You're going back into bootload mode. And if you notice up in the top, uh, there is a DFU. Make sure DFU is listed up in the top. Now you're going to come down to Firmware Flasher. Click. It does not matter what you click in here. Make sure you select your board. For me, it was the Omnibus. You're going to load Firmware Local. Find your firmware. And you're going to hit Betaflight, Omnibus, whatever your firmware is. I don't know why I have a Fly Plus other than that's really old, but whatever it is, hit open. You're going to hit Flash Firmware. For you, it's going to flash as long as you have DFU up top. And once you're doing that, you're going to go back, reboot. You're going to connect. Ensure that you have Enable Expert Mode on. Going to go ports, make sure you enable your serial RX if you're using iBus. That is one important thing here, and we're about to see it in configuration. For the Leader 120, these are my settings, so DSHOT 600, always. Motor stop, I leave off. 4.5 is my min throttle value. No board alignment issues. I changed to 4K, 4K instead of 8K, 2K. Took off accelerometer since I will not be able to use Acro Trainer. Barometer doesn't count. Magnometer doesn't count. And uh, like I say, I went 4K, 4K stock is 8K, 2K. I did not notice a difference going from one to the other. So those two, you can leave stock if you want or 4K, 4K. 25, this is for FPV camera angle, which uh, does coordinated rolls for you. I really don't use it anymore. So yeah. This one's an important one. I have an iBus Micro Fly Sky. So I use serial based receiver in there and iBus. If you'll notice, this list is much shorter than normal. And that is due to what they removed to put in the fun stuff for Betaflight 3.4. Going down, enable air mode, OSD, anti gravity, and dynamic filter. And going below that, I always turn off USB, but it never helps. Save and reboot. Next up, power and battery. Uh, I forgot to turn off my current meter source, so I'm going to do that now. Since I have none, I always run down to 3.3 warning cell voltage, 3.2 minimum cell. And with the 2S batteries, that seems to work very well. I'm going to save here. Fail safe. I don't run a kill switch anymore, but if I did, I either do stage two or kill. Either one of those is fine. Stage two settings, eight means you will be out of communication for 0.8 seconds before your quadcopter drops. You do not want to try to land. Don't even try it. Just drop. And save and reboot. PID tuning. This is the fun one. I did change these from stock. This is due to some of the filtering changes inside of 
Beta Flight 3.4. I left my derivative the same, although I think I'm going to lower it, and but not right here. RC rates, these are just my rates and what I use. I do turn on VBAT PID compensation. D set point weight is normally 0.6. I like one. That's a flat, even, no softening around. Same for transition. I like zero. Uh, it just makes it very snappy to me. Save that. Going into filter settings, I did not touch any of these. This is stock setup right here. Going on. Receiver. I always set my low threshold to 1010, my high to 1990. And that is based off of an old thing I used to do where the props would not spin up when the quadcopter was armed. But it doesn't seem to make as much of a difference now. That's normally 1050 and 1900. But it doesn't make a difference. I do not set an RC dead band, a yaw dead band, 3D throttle. I don't use 3D mode, so that's that. Going into modes. This is significantly shorter. I have arm, so arm's easy. Arm is set to aux 1, beeper set to aux 5, that's just what I always use. If you want to put a fail safe in, here's where you do it. And if you notice, you have FPV angle mix, so that's if you added in one of the angles on the configuration tab. And if you notice, there is no acro trainer mode, and I also have no horizon or self-leveling, whatever it's called. Those two are missing because I turned off my accelerometer. I don't use adjustment servos, motors, OSD. I just like to set up what I like to see. They work fine. CLI is where you get to the fun stuff. So first you're going to do get RC. And we're looking for RC throttle. Where is it? It's up. RC smoothing type filter. This is one you want to change. Default is interpolation. So you want to set RC smoothing type. Just copy. We don't have tab yet, so I keep forgetting about that. So set RC smoothing type to filter. Watch Joshua Bardwell's on it. While you're here and you can see, you could set your throttle limit percent if you want to fly a little bit slower than normal. Some people use that to save battery, and that actually works pretty well. Um, other than that, I'm good in here. Now you want to get iTerm, and from here we're going to, to iTerm relax equals RPY. The default is off. You're going to set that R RPY. Set equals RPY. Doing this will allow you to up your eye gains about, it says 50%, I upped them about 30%, and notice an immediate change. It was very, 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 very good. Relax, it's set to RPY. So throttle smoothing is one that you want. And smooth type filter, RPY. And for me, that those are the biggest changes that I have done to the Leader 120. And we are going to take it for a test drive. I'm just looking through here, see if I missed anything. Oh, the other one I did, smart feed forward. Get smart. I wish it was that easy. Get smart. Set smart feed forward on. Default is off. This makes it uh, feels really snappy. <laughs> so try this on or off. Um, you might not like it. You might love it. So set smart feed speed smart feed forward on. It'll feel like your D term is uh, way 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 higher. Uh, D term transition area. So when you snap the throttle, or not the throttle, yeah, anyway, feels really good. So save that, disconnect, let's go for a flight. And from here, we're just jumping over to the flight. Thank you so much, as always. I truly appreciate you. If you like this, give me a thumbs up down below. Leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns. And once again, please subscribe, and we'll be back. Talk to you soon. So I'm here on my very first flight out of I did not check any settings before just taking off and going and immediately out of the gate it felt very snappy and there's a tree. So we're going to take a reset here, 
kick off uh, 395 and take off flying around, immediately notice that throttle is pretty impressively clicky. I don't know, this feels very tight. Uh, prop wash is similar to what it used to be. I am noticing that it feels faster and everything is a lot snappier than what I'm used to, so I'm a little overshooting a bit. And um, yeah, it feels great actually. So it takes a second to get used to it. One thing I've noticed, uh, a lot of pilots like to flip around and try new tricks and everything. And I have noticed that I must be getting old because I literally just like to fly. Um, not really looking to do much other than fly. And if it feels better, great. And this does feel a lot better. Holy cow. So I loved F the Betaflight 3.4 uh, I loved it for when it was for the F3 flight controller it felt better and this with the performance edition just seems to tighten everything up in a way that's just hard to describe so you have to kind of try it for yourself uh, overall it's uh, really good feels great it just feels like a movement from your head through your thumbs I'm a thumb flyer by the way head through your thumbs to the quad is just immediate I mean it's it's really good uh, it takes a second to get used to just how snappy everything feels and maybe it's just uh, what's that called um, that effect maybe it's just an effect but it feels really good and that's about all I have to say about this. Um, Performance Edition, it'll allow you to set the new filters and get all of the benefits of 3.4 with very few downsides. If you have an older, slower controller protocol that PWM, as I mentioned before, read the description in the link down below for what's missing. Acro Trainer, something that's, it's cool, but who cares when you can get all the filtering and all the good effects from the 3.4 take all their good work and put it in play and I gotta tell you I'm blown away I'm just gonna let this play out and um, yeah suffice it to say performance edition I'm not gonna swap back uh, I do really like this it actually feels so much better and I can't oh I know what it, part of this is that I term? Um, no, I'm sorry. The PID, the I. What's that? Integral. Integral. Yeah, integral. Is a lot higher, and that is definitely leading to a lot better feeling. Uh, just when you take your fingers off the sticks, or you're not. Yeah, you can't tell right here, but it's breezy today. It's also 97 degrees again, and um, nothing is pushing this quad off course. It just feels good. Uh, I can't brag enough about it. I've been saying that since I had tried RC1 3.4, but this is a whole new level with the F3 board anyway. Now I will say my F4 board, that quad feels like a five inch now and it's only a three. And um, yeah, it's, I'm impressed. I'm just, man, shoot. I gotta find a beta flight developer and like shake their hand. They're doing amazing things out here. and. Heck, that's the end of my flight almost. So I hope y'all have a good one. Trust me when I say it, the, the performance edition, as long as your flight controller has more than 64 kilobytes, uh, pick it out, download the hex, flash it through beta flight configurator and just be happy. This thing is awesome. So y'all take care, like, and subscribe, leave a comment down below if you want, leave any questions and talk to you soon.